So hi, what up, what up, uh, people? Welcome to Art Block 271, Part Two. Welcome to my life. Welcome to my studio. What I'm doing, and as you watch, I don't know if you watched the part one of this vlog, but what focus here? We are creating a school, you know, a bone school, not a school for kids. And I just was thinking, considering if I could turn um, the white into pink, that could be maybe interesting. And this one in pink as well. Let's give it a try. That's cool. But one thing in my mind, what is, there is this, just this one thing. Oh, we have the sun. Interesting. When it's turned to pink, I don't know who will buy a school in pink, mostly uh, masculine. You know, a man will be more interesting in a school than um, a woman. But if it, it is it is risky if you know you know what I mean it is risky which man will buy a pink school you know but it looks nice so it means this is a woman actually is that correct I don't know okay let's stick this cardboards together to cut to transfer the main drawing the main picture on that Bristol cardboard and then we're gonna cut the colors it will be a multi frame at uh, stencil work there is one thing important actually Actually, it's that commission at the concert hall make the stencil you know this cutting and the preparation before we even spray anything on the wall when we have created a stencil to make it as simple as possible because we will never need this kind of a paper again it's huge it's too big it sizes it especially to that wall we never know if we need that any size again in, in the future so but in this case we have to transfer the main paper to a Bristol cardboard because it's possible that some other client will also have something like this so we don't want to cut we don't want to prepare all the things again it means the second commission of this work will be very easy to do uh, we don't need to cut and stick Bristol you know over and over and over again and we just uh, we uh, we just uh, use the stencil you know the stuff that we already have we're just gonna spray it and that's it so the first one is the hardest part to create the first stencil and then if you if you are lucky and we will get another commission from the same work we can just um, spray it over and this is when you start to make money in this kind of uh, commission okay next question uh, how many bristols do we need i'm gonna show you this thing how it looks like okay the first thing which is important i already knew the sizes of this bristol also the sizes of the machine which makes this enlargement so as i told you in the earlier vlog it is 90 centimeters by endless so this is less than 90 and if you make it up than 90 or bigger than 90 uh, you have to stick this stuff together and it's too much work so I already use the size that I can use for this as well so it's fit it's fit correctly I don't have to glue uh, stick uh, cardboard together to to prepare a huge uh, you know big stencil boy a big stencil are you bored because we didn't make a mosaic for a while but i do everything i can to get mosaic orders and commissions it's just these guys are acting like a new we, we have this one saying in here it's like why you act like a new bride in the house you know bride is this the right word when you get married is this a spider to the brighton room if you know what i mean so the clients at this time acting like a new bride in a new house so they are like you know like a bit uh s stepping back a little bit and i don't know what's going on with these guys i do the best mic that i can we are filming everything what's going on in the studio so if we have stancer right now we have stancer right now you know it's also the thing in the world economical way uh, there is not much money to spend actually on the world right now that's why i can't understand that mosaic orders at this time in the whole world is going down like you know back runter and that's why people are focused in more creative and simplicity because they want to avoid 
to pay money for a lot of uh, effort and work that workers have to spend in that work which is also the mosaic uh, a lot of hours you have to spend in that work so there are, there are still clients but not that much than 10 years ago is what I can say okay understanding uh, multi-layer stenciling we need a cardboard we need a bristol a black one a white one we need one for this gray that's number three we need also one for the dark gray which is here and here that's number four we need also one for this you now for the letters okay let's work with this liars the first thing we're gonna do is as i said before transferring the original drawing or the picture to the bristol cardboard for each color we have on the original one and what i usually do is you know we need we will have several uh, bristol cardboards with some drawings on which will be have made for each color we need each cardboard on the same point Okay, you will understand what I mean after I show you what's going on. So I will tape this on this table first. With this kind of a tape, I don't know how to call that. It's like almost transparent. I'm gonna tape this in here. This will stay here until I transfer each color on a different cardboard. Okay, that's nice. And one in the middle. Why not? Dummsicher, we say in German, means stupid, stupid guarantee. I don't think so. So the point is, this is the first liar, actually. Our first cargo, the Bristol. And, okay, it's almost in the middle. This is what I mean. So what we should do right now, that's a, a regular pen. I'm gonna mark it one, and two. Each a liar. I mean, each Bristol cardboard will be marked at the same place, at the same point. It's right here, okay, and one is uh, over there. It's right there. So if you're gonna do this for each, where are you? I'm upside down, okay. If you do this for each cardboard, for each layer, and when you are ready to spray the thing somewhere, you have to follow these marks to have the same, uh, to have the right color at the same place to get the whole thing at the end. So the first one will be the black one. And one more thing, I usually use uh, this carbon paper to transfer this. That's this uh, transfer paper stuff. I don't know which side is correct. Definitely not that side. Damn, I'm so stupid. So I'm gonna put this under my drawing. I tape it together to have a bigger one. When I was making the Bob Marley at the concert hall, you can watch it if you still didn't. So check it just once. Okay, that's correct. So everything is on the right place. Now I can start to drive over the line. The only thing you have to do is drive over the line correctly. That was almost incorrect, but it's acceptable. the first color to layer number one this is how it looks like um, this was a mistake because it's not black but I know it so it's okay I'm gonna write black liar one thing I have to address is this the right word to say as you see maybe I didn't paint over these two colors means when you put the liar, you know, the cardboard, you're gonna paint it directly, the whole thing here, 
in black and then you put another layer which is for this color oh man okay then um you're gonna spray this over this black so we don't have to cut out this thing here that's cool now it's time to change this bristle thing and put another one to paint the white one and then the gray one and so on um, I don't want to waste your time you know uh, how it works the point is we never do forget this thing here you know that mark thing is important otherwise your layers will be you know move and stuff to have the correct view we need definitely um, this marks which are also as you see on this um, cardboard here. Yes. So I guess I'm done with the transferring stuff. Um, that's the first layer. That's another layer. It's also gray. That's the main, you know, the main. Uh, is this the background? No, that's the main color. It's the cream color. And then we have another layer and the black layer. And there is a fully white where that light is shining. Um, that's totally one, two, three, four, five, six layers. So it's a multi layer stencil. The next step is cutting out this stuff here from that cardboard, from that Bristol thing. Uh, this, this stuff needs to cut it out. And after uh, we can uh, finally start to uh, make a painting with this thing.